A short time ago, I talked with Congressman Ron Paul. Following the announcement of the Washington caucus results, I asked him about not winning Washington State despite putting time and some money out there. Congressman Paul, thanks for being here. It looks like at this hour, it's a neck and neck battle for second right. place. What's your reaction to, well, not winning Washington State? You spent some time and some money out there. Well, I did, but I wasn't making any wild predictions. If we're always hopeful, but I think we're going to win the delegates. You know, somebody came up to me a few minutes ago and said they came from their precinct, and there were uh, only eight uh, eight people in the precinct that voted, and seven for were for Romney, and there was one Paul voter. We ended up getting the delegate. So it's the process you have to know about, and uh, we will be getting a lot of delegates, and we've done this before, and we will continue to do it. So who knows how many delegates we'll get out of Washington? But uh, we're comfortable about uh, our strategic. Strategic plan is to go after the delegates because that's who votes at the at the convention, and we'll continue to do it. Explain that for somebody at home, Congressman. Uh, somebody who doesn't get this, we try to explain it in layman's terms that this is non-binding <laughs> tonight, and that they have other conventions, uh, district, county, state, where they eventually pick the delegates. And you're betting that your people are so loyal to you right. that they'll be going through all this process. Yeah, and they hang in there and they stay because if you vote, you can walk out and you're recorded. But if you stay and stay for the meeting, then you can be selected to be a delegate. I don't think it's anything brand new, uh, but uh, it's, it's sometimes they ignore the rules. Uh, but uh, uh, most of our supporters read the rules and they insist that the rules be followed. But eventually, Congressman, you have to win a state, right? Well, it depends. Uh, I, I guess if you're going to win the nomination, yes, you better win a state or two. But, uh, you know, um, we, we're in the race. Uh, we have Super Tuesday coming up. I'll be leaving here shortly to go to Alaska. That's another uh, caucus state. So uh, racking up uh, delegates is, is a good strategy. Uh, but yes, uh, you eventually are going to have to win some states to uh, become the nominee. So looking immediately to Super Tuesday, do you see a state that you could potentially win there? Well, they're all potential. I'm not making any predictions, so I didn't predict tonight. So, uh, no, they're all potentially uh, winnable, but, uh, you know, a lot, a lot can change. You've seen other candidates goes up and down. I mean, I know it's uh, uh, a real challenge, but uh, that's, that's what I'm in it for, for the challenge, and that's why we have the enthusiasm. We get the support. We get the money in, and, and the young people, you know, uh, are so enthusiastic that, uh, yes, something could happen, but I'm not making any, any of the projections. Our last thing, for your supporters, uh, what, what do you tell them about uh, your, your ultimate goal here and uh, your path to the nomination? Well, the goal is to win the nomination. To win the nomination, you have to have delegates. And we win delegates most of the places we go. We don't win enough. But there's no reason to think that you can't build up momentum and win even more. And finally, for all the talk about you uh, in cahoots with Mitt Romney in some way, shape, or form, the ad that you ran in Washington State called him a flip-flopper. So I guess you were put, drawing a line there. Well, you know, the ad wasn't brand new. That came out of an earlier ad. So the, those in the media who were trying to get a story going about some, uh, some deal going on, I mean, that was just uh, somebody desperate for a story. Uh, but no, we used that early on. I think it was, might have been a combination. But early on, uh, we, we did to put that ad out about him flip-flopping because everybody knows he has been a flip-flopper. But uh, that's uh, not a whole lot different because I put the other three candidates in one, uh, can uh, one category, and of course the biggest thing I, I think that the American people ought to know about is uh, how, how much uh, Santorum is a fake. He is not a conservative, and, and yet a lot of people still think he's the conservative alternative to Romney. To me, that's a real joke. Congressman Paul, thanks so much for your time tonight, and we'll see you down the road. 